Plenty of storylines in the SEC this year. It's the new coaches that dominate the story for me. Jimbo Fisher with all that cash, all those commas in his paycheck at Texas A&M. Can he make them a national championship contender? In year one, probably not. But this year lays the foundation for what Texas A&M will be under Jimbo Fisher. Jeremy Pruitt, first time head coach for the Tennessee Volunteers. Going to take some time for him to get acclimated to what it takes to be a head coach in the SEC. But he will get that defense playing good right out of the gate the offense some question marks up front for sure they don't have a quarterback but I do think their wide receiving core is a little bit underrated I want to see how Jeremy Pruitt evolves from game one to game 12 you know what you're getting for a full game, uh, 12 games from the Florida Gators and Dan Mullen they got they're good up front they got a good running back core defensively they're always fine I want to see how those pieces at quarterback fit into what Dan Mullen wants to do he always finds a way to make it work speaking of making it work Joe Moorhead at Mississippi State returns all of those starters, including quarterback Nick Fitzgerald, from an offensive perspective, he plays chess while others play checkers. I think he has a fantastic season in his first season in Starkville. And then at Arkansas, Chad Morris, the right guy for the job, but Arkansas fans need to exercise patience. Nobody on that roster fits what Chad Morris wants to do. They're soft in the back end, but that offense will get cranked up eventually, but they got to find a quarterback. So the new coaches around the SEC, excited to see what happens and how these guys change the landscape of the conference moving forward.